Okay, I'm going to show you. So in this tutorial, we're going to flip a layer in a composite composite image. So you found a great photo for your comp composite, but it's facing the wrong way. The solution is to flip one layer without affecting the whole image. So let's look and see how we're going to do that. So if we go back into the home panel under browse tutorials, we can find this under Let's see, where is this under? This is going to be all categories, beginner. And once I have all categories, beginner, we can find it in right here. The one tutorial right now that's in com composite. And so flip a layer in a composite image. Let's click that. Start tutorial. And I'm going to make everything fit a little bit better. There we go. So looking at this right here, it says, click the icon to the left of the boy layer to hide this layer so you can see the background. So there's two, as you guys can see, there's two layers. And we want to see what the background layer is. So right here, we're just going to click that. Now it says, click the same spot to the left of the boy layer again to view the boy layer. You'll combine these two layers in the next steps. So we got two different layers we're going to combine. So right out of here, we're going to go under select and it says subject to automatically select most of the boy and the blankets. Don't worry if you don't get it all, you'll add to this selection layer. So first we're going to try to find a, uh, try to get this by going select and subject. And so Photoshop's going to try to find what we want right now. So let's see here. So select the quick selection tool. If it isn't showing, right click here, hover over the blue bubble, then click the quick selection tool in the flyout tools. So if we right click on here, you can see that, okay? And that is selected, okay? And it says click the add to selection option for the quick selection tool, click next to continue. So we want the, the add to. Okay, so that's the little plus, this is the second one. Okay, and then we're going to click continue over here. And let's see. So it says drag over any parts of the boy in the blankets that are not selected to add them to the selection. When you're done, the only non selected area should be the white wall. Click next to continue. So we're going to drag over this blanket right here. And I'm dragging it so only the white wall is going to be showing. So I'm looking over here. I see some areas here, there. Let's look. The, that looks pretty good there. We're going to move it. I hold down the space bar and I, can, and I can move this wherever I want. So if I hold down space bar on the keyboard, it turns into our hand, which is the move tool. Okay. So that's a really fast, quick way, and you can do a lot of editing. So then I let go, and I still have the plus, and I'm going to come through here and make that, okay? So the only thing looking at over my photo, the only thing that's not selected is the white wall, okay? And that, Photoshop did a really good job of selecting what I wanted after I did some manually, manual adding to that selection. So I'm going to click Next. Now it says add, uh, click the add layer mask icon to cut out the selected boy and blankets. The mask hides the non-selected areas to the background. So the background layer becomes shows through click next to continue. So now we're going to hide everything else, okay, except for the boy. So that works pretty good there, right? So now this is what we got. Click next. Now note, notice that the light on, on the background is coming from the right. Click next to continue. So the light is the wrong direction. Right here we see light on the boy's face and shadow over here. But it should be light coming over here and shadow on the face, right? But we wouldn't want that either, right? Because we want the boy to be have light on it. So it's really important to consider all of the things in a photo to make it look more accurate if you're photoshopping it. Now also I need some, I, I see something else here. Let me see. 
there's some areas right here that we need to clean up. So we're going to do that real quick by clicking on there and double clicking on that on that layer mask, right? We can come over here. So I'm going to actually I'm going to work on making this just a little cleaned up here. So we want plus, we want and then let's see if this works the way I want to. So we went the wrong direction, so we want minus. And I'm just going to kind of clean that up just a little bit around because the selection was not good. And we see a little white. So now, once we got that, we're going to go, okay. We're going to make this a little smaller now. And we are going to go to... So select edit, transform flip horizontal. This flips only the selected boy layer without affecting the background layer. So we're going to flip the boy. So we're going to go uh, edit, transform, flip horizontal. Edit, transform, flip horizontal. Edit, transform, flip horizontal. Right there because we only had this layer selected that's what happened okay so right here now the light is coming from the same direction of, of on both the boy in the background creating a more realistic looking compass composite click next to continue and now it says to finish up click the create new adjustment layer icon and choose photo filter this creates a photo filter adjustment layer that tints both of the underlying uh, layer. So here we go. We're going to go choose photo filter. Let's find the photo filter. There it is. And it says select the filter. Select the filter button in the controls for the adjustment. Choose warming filter. So we got 85 already selected. There's different ones. We got the 85 in the drop down and intensity to 25. So we want to make this so you can see what it looks like right there and we want to leave the density there that's good at set to about 25 warm up click next to continue and there you go so now what you want to do is save it so if you're in my class you want to save it save a copy and we're going to save this to make sure you know where it's going I'm going to save this to downloads and I'm going to say flip a layer and a composite and I'm going to put my name and then we want to change this from Photoshop to JPEG very important okay for just for my assignments otherwise if you want all the layers save it as a Photoshop file first so save it you know where it's going and that's it okay good job you guys